Welcome back guys to another video and what we've got for you today is as you can see behind me another Subaru but this time it's not the Impreza this is a Subaru Forester STI now if you're a bit of a car mad car fanatic Subaru fanatic especially you would have heard about these but a lot of people have probably never heard of them uh, they were strictly just made for the JDM market so the Japanese market and it is the Forester STI and they all came in an estate. So what I'll do is I'll go through the spec and stuff of the car. This one's had a few tuning mods done to it and it's had a few other nice, decent modifications done. So I'll go through as much as I can remember, but the rest of them will be in the description. So if I miss anything out, check the description for the modifications and they'll all be listed in there. But honestly, what a beautiful car this is. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Performance Lifestyles. Check us out on Instagram, performance underscore lifestyles, and we're on Facebook as well, performance lifestyles. And if you'd like your car featured, drop us an email, pflifestyle at hotmail.com, and we will be more than happy to accommodate. But for today, we've got this Forrester STI, so I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Check it out. So there it is, guys, the Subaru Forrester STI. And now, honestly, as, as you can tell, if you've seen one of these in, the, in standard form, this does look slightly different, and it's got, I'd say, the ideal, perfect touches done to it. So we'll start off on the front end. With it being a facelift, it's got a bit more of a, like a smoother front end. So and the pre-facelift, I think I have fog light covers here, and I'll put a photo up of here of a pre-facelift car and you'll see the difference. It's got a genuine STI front splitter, which was on it from Japan. Uh, obviously it's got the FOS number plate on it as well. Uh, STI decals. This is aftermarket, I believe, the mesh here with the STI pink badge and you can see the uh, Hella horns in the background there as well, in pink. And then obviously you get this grille here, at the bottom here, again in pink. And the splitter does actually make the front end look quite a lot better with this flick up on the side. Um, I think anyway, that's my opinion. And I'm sure most of you will probably agree. Um, what it's also got on the front end is a Impreza bonnet scoop. So now that sits quite a bit higher than a standard Forester scoop. And with the way this car sits, I think it looks, I think it suits it, like, very well. Sucks gets in, you know, sucks in loads of cold air through there for the intercooler. Uh, and I think it does the job perfectly fine. And with these Foresters, I think they're, they're a very, very good looking car. But I think when they are a bit too plain without a few of the optional, like, spats and stuff, they look too plain. This one's actually got the side uh, spat and the rear bumper spat like these things here and I think it makes a massive difference to the overall look of the car and you can see them there on the rear bumper as well so they do actually look quite slick and the way this car sits is is just simply put it is beautiful um, so yeah it's got Volk Racing CE28 alloy wheels they're a rare set of uh, genuine Volk Racing wheels as you can see here race engineering and Volk Racing with Ray's engineering uh, wheel nuts as well. It's got upgraded uh, brake lines, it's got Maestral coilovers, standard Brembo brakes with aftermarket pads. I uh, can't remember the exact ones, but I'll, like I said, the, uh, dis uh, the spec list will be in the description. So I'll go through whatever I can remember because it has got quite a lot going on. So I will go through whatever I can remember and whatever I don't will be in the uh, uh, description. Yeah, so back onto the car. Yeah, like I said, them spats make a massive difference. Absolute massive difference. And it's got the mud flaps, obviously, which comes as kind of like without saying, goes without saying on Scoobies, they make a big difference. It stops all the stone chips from kicking up over here. Uh, so um, it is that. And the back end looks fairly standard on the back end. There's not really a lot going on aftermarket wise. This is a standard spoiler. Again, standard rear lights, facelift lights standard rear bumper and obviously the spats are the only real modification on the back end apart from the exhaust and it's got a kakimoto exhaust system which is a three inch system all the way from the turbo back 
October all the way back down to here. It's fully decatted and remapped to 350 horsepower. Uh, it's not been forged or nothing like that because I know a lot of these 2.5s have had engine internals upgraded. This one hasn't. But I know the owner's actually saying that if anything goes wrong with it, he will get it forged and run 400 or just over 400 horsepower. So, but at the minute it's at uh, 350 horsepower, but it has had the head gaskets done as a preventative measure, which I'll go through with the rest of the mods under the bonnet. But yeah, on the outside, it is literally one of the best looking Forester STIs I've seen in a while, to be fair. It's been a while since I've last driven one as well. I'd say a good few years and they do not disappoint. These things are fantastic. They're a very, they're, they literally feel like a practical, more practical version of an Impreza. They sit slightly higher as standard. Uh, this obviously is on coilover suspension, like I mentioned. So the ride height is perfect. But in standard form, they do sit quite high, which kind of like does give them a bit of a lean in the corners and stuff. But I'm assuming this one won't have because it's been lowered. So onto the inside. Pillarless doors, which is a standard feature on most of these JDM cars. And what you notice there is it's got this STI uh, kick plate, the sill cover things, and the Foresters do come with a black interior. The Impressors, the Spec C's came with the black seats, the rest of them came with the black and blue, uh, but the Spec STI Spec C's came with the black, and the Foresters come with these as standard. Uh, and also, the Foresters do have like a two tone thing, uh, theme going as well, like a greyish sort of bottom half of the interior and the top half is black and as you can see same on the door cards front rear and the steering wheel again this has been retrimmed thickness is i think standard same sort of thickness the red center line which i think suits it quite well and the rest of the interior is standard apart from the stereo which i believe this might be a uk spec stereo because it's got writing on it in english um, so it looks quite good and you got a little dog air freshener. These do come with a cubby hole up here, a clock. Some people do put gauges up here and I believe the owner has actually said he did have gauges here but they started playing up so he's removed them. Uh, rightly so, otherwise they're just annoying. And this has also got a STI genome uh, boost gauge and an AEM air fuel ratio AFR over here. And now this, the G genome boost gauges do actually come with a controller and this is that you can record, you can play back your boost setting so if you think there's something not quite right you can record it and then check it later on uh, on the gauge it's more of a gimmicky thing in this day and age because it's not digital it's just you can see it on there and then it's got this snazzy aftermarket sti gear knob as well which i think looks quite nice and with it being a forester it's a bit more of a there's a lot more space up here than a normal impreza they're quite a high up sort of car and they just all they do feel like a, a lot more of a roomy Impreza. Imprezas do sometimes feel a bit, not cramped, but not as big as one of these, especially if you jump into an Impreza after a uh, Forester. They do feel a bit, a bit small, a bit tighter, but these and the Legacies do actually feel good. And talking of Legacy, we do have a very rare S402 on our YouTube channel as well, so do check that out. Check that, out. that was reviewed uh, probably a year or two ago, and it's, uh, so yeah, Feel free to check that out. And there's plenty of other Impreza STIs, rare one Specsies. Um, so yeah, like I said, do feel free to check them out. So you also get, that is, I believe, the heater for the wipers. And I'll uh, put up a clip here, you'll see what I mean. It's a very, very good feature. Actually, it's a pretty amazing feature. In the cold, frosty mornings, your wipers don't stick to the screen. Obviously, fog light and the headlight adjuster. And then you get your usual controls here. And that's the cup holder there, which does that. So quite a fancy thing and these don't have an adjustable center differential so it is literally a symmetrical four-wheel drive system which is what Subarus are best known for it is like an equal thing so there's no uh, you get a 50 50 split in the power delivery so but with the DCCD cars uh, you can split the power to push to push the power to the back should I say and uh, it does work well if you know what you're doing. If you don't, then your back end will step out on you. But these are just a symmetrical four-wheel drive, a bit more of a family-friendly sort of bigger version of the Impreza. And it's equipped with all the STI bits, which is more than, which is very good, should I say. It's actually, you know, it's, they're a very popular car. Not, 
amongst the JDM amongst the JDM community. A lot of people, if you've never heard of them, you probably will overlook one purely because they are worth a decent amount of money now. Um, so, but uh, JDM people, you know, fanatics, they are probably a very good equipped rival to like an RS4 or something. It's RS4 or even a 5 Series or a, a BMW. So these are a lot more exclusive. You don't see many on the roads, if if any, to be fair. They're very, very rare at the moment. So, um, so yeah, they're a very, very good car. Even the back seats, there's literally, there's plenty of space. That, the driver's seat, I have pushed it back. But even with that in mind, you can still see there's loads of space. It's got this like, you know, the same gray theme sort of going on in the background as well, Alcantara style, sort of a uh, suede strasse style thing. And these seats are adjustable. They are actually, they do recline. You can probably just about make as a handle here and they do move forward and this thing tilts backward. So, um, and yeah, it's, a, it's actually, because it's a Forester and a bit more of a fr family friendly car, it all adds up, it all makes a difference. And then obviously black and gray, again, theme going on on the door cards. And you even get ashtrays in the back for your passengers. Again, the boot on these, with it being a family friendly sort of car, you get Mr. Scooby sitting over there and then you get another Scooby-Doo sitting over there. And I mean, just check the size of that. You can fit plenty of plenty of bodies in there. You can fit plenty of stuff in there. And this one obviously does come with a STI, original STI rear strut brace as well, which will help with the handling and the way it delivers the power. And you get these little mini grab handles on the side. They're probably not gonna be very useful grab handles because you can't get your fingers in there. But um, yeah, it's just again, just to tie stuff down. And, and you also get this little cigarette lighter thing here as well. So I'll show you under the bonnet and then we'll go for a quick drive and then I can hand the car back over to its owner. So yeah, like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel, click on the like button as well. It helps with the algorithm and it will help our channel grow. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll show you under the bonnet and then we'll go for a drive. So we'll catch you in the bonnet, under the bonnet, I suppose. So there's the actual heart of it then, the EJ25 2.5 litre turbocharged engine. Uh, and there is the turbocharger just there that little thing and you can see the exhaust downpipe heat wrapped coming off there and I mean just to look at like I mentioned in the previous video as well to look at if you've if you're used to your conventional normal inline four-cylinder engines these do look like a bit of a mess because it is a boxer so these work this way as opposed to that way um, but yeah it's still I, th I think there it's a it's a it's a very nice looking bay especially with all these red bits in it you get the standard optional should I say strut brace in there genuine STI strut brace Meister R adjustable top mounts for the coilovers intercooler standard intercooler fitment which is top mount rather than fr uh, rather than behind the front bumper so if you want to run more than 400 horsepower then yeah it's recommended to stick them on the uh, front but it's uh, still to be fair that is it it's got obviously a Cusco battery holder this chrome fuse box cover made in Japan and perfected in the UK zero sports uh, slam panel cover and I think that actually does look quite nice we've got a chopper creating some noise uh, yeah so Mishimoto intake hose oil separator with again the hoses pairing um, intercooler pi uh, hose and then you get a GFB blow off valve as well which again does sound nice you can hear it on the drive and you it, because it's set to close so it's not overly loud you can adjust it but uh, it starts to run a little bit a bit odd with that on so so yeah but then you got this uh, battery brake um, oh I forgot what it's called now but yeah you understand what I mean it's that thing there so yeah what we'll do is we'll go for a quick little spin and then we'll hand the car over uh, so yeah like I said, uh, subscribe to our channel, check us out on our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Performance Lifestyles, and uh, yeah, help us grow. And we will catch you on the drive. So onto the drive of this Forester STI. It, it does remind you of driving a Scooby, a normal Impreza. They drive very, very similar, I'd say. Like I mentioned, the only thing, difference with 
the Forester is, because it sits quite high up, you do get a bit of lean into the corners and bend and stuff. But with this one sitting on coilover suspension and the extra suspension ride height, should I say, is quite a bit lower than a standard car. I think it kind of like, it, it does the car justice because it's it gets rid of that lean and I can almost imagine this car handles very well, especially when it's being thrown around corners and stuff, which, um, which is what these ultimately, you know, are good at. And this is what they were well renowned for. But it does drive very nice. It's got that boxer burble, which is a must have, especially on these cars. I know the JDM two liter engines uh, have the equal length manifold, which gets rid of the boxer burble, uh, which is what Subarus are well renowned for. But this one does have the burble and it sounds sweet. Honestly, it sounds very, very good. It's got an aftermarket clutch, aftermarket flywheel. So it, I'm still kind of like getting used to the clutch, especially on in first gear. But it's like there, you put your foot down and it, all, it just wants to just go. It literally just wants to go. It's 350 brake horsepower. I know it's not massive numbers in today's game, you know, with the, a lot of the newer cars have, you know, it's diesels have over 200 horsepower, but from the era this is from, that is a very, very good number, especially with it not being forged and still on the standard turbo. But this gives you way more of a positive feel to drive the car than any of these other modern cars do. These cars are so good. Honestly, they are so, so good to drive. They are, if you've never driven one, you will probably think I'm talking nonsense, but I can assure you I am not. I've driven many, many, many of these cars and modern cars as well, but yeah, you get the most fun out of these older sort of cars. And these JDM breeds of, you know, they, they're something else. Right then. Wow. For a 17 year old car that could carry five people, your dogs, your cats, your bikes, your anything else in the boot, your shopping, it sure as hell does shift. And sounds good as well whilst it's doing that. <laughs> when you're driving along, you can see that bonnet scoop, it sticks out quite a bit higher up than a standard bonnet scoop on a Forest STI. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. As you could probably tell from the previous videos, I absolutely love these things. In general, just the Impreza Scoobies and STIs and stuff. And like I said, this drives like a normal Impreza, but only it's a lot, a bit bigger. So you got enough space in the back for your push chairs or your dogs or your kids if they're annoy annoying you. They feel it feels so planted. That lean that I was talking about on a standard car is kind of like not even present in this. amazing car. What a awesome car. My opinions will be slightly biased because I like these things, but you do get some ropey examples still. And I will tell you if it's a ropey example, but this is by far not a ropey example. I think this one is almost perfect. It started to rain as well. Heavens are opening up even though it wasn't supposed to today, but. Ah. 
I'm actually really liking this car. Like I said, it's been a number of years since I last drove a Forester STI and uh, and this one, and that was a standard car and this isn't standard. This has got suspension, performance, tuning, and it's got quite a few modifications as uh, listed in the description. And it's just so... I hope the microphone is picking up that noise it's is addictive these cars literally just feel like they're asking for you to boot them I know the next thing on the owners uh, list is uh, get the whole suspension poly bushed and that will sharpen it up even more that will make it that will give it that little bit of a thing that you can feel on suspension you can ever so slightly hear it creaking uh, bushes are probably drying up or wearing out because it is 17 years old but oh this is amazing the standard four pot brembos oh, do the job just fine Oh, this car is fantastic. Fantastic. You can ever so slightly hear that dump valve letting off as well as soon as you back off the throttle. All these noises, this whooshing and this, it all adds to the character of this car. These were known to be Asbo cars and this one surely does live up to that reputation. Most certainly lives up to that reputation. Right then, I'm going to have to conclude the video for today. I hope you've enjoyed that video of this Forester STI, such a mega car and all the credit to its owner. Honestly, he's done a wicked job of doing what he's done to this car. Honestly, it's such, such a joy to drive this thing. So yeah, like I said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Performance Lifestyles. Check us out on Instagram, performance underscore lifestyles. And we're on Facebook as well, Performance Lifestyles. And if you'd like your car featured, drop us an email pflifestyle at hotmail.com and we will be more than happy to accommodate and get your car featured on the channel um, but yeah click on that like button as well it helps us grow and we have got plenty of other videos uploaded already on our channel plenty of scoobies and jdm german performance cars and a few non-performance as well so yeah do feel free to check them out i'm sure there's going to be something out there for all of you guys to like uh, so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video guys and as per usual, stay safe and we will catch you on the next video.